And whoever is left as you get down to the wire, let's, let's say all four of them are scheduled for 7 p.m. actually. Hey, let's say you get down to the wire, now there's just two left. One stopped responding, one had to reschedule. Okay, now you're down to two. Your determining factors would be which girl wants to meet straight to the house. If they both want to come straight to the house, which one's hotter? Or which one does it seem more on with, okay? What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to talk about canceling on the girl. Okay, so I had this revolutionary epiphany years back. I had an event friend say that he stacks up a whole bunch of dates every day, and then as it gets down to the wire, based on who has canceled, who has rescheduled, who's flaked, he will cancel on the remaining ones that he can't meet and choose the one that he does wanna meet, and that's how he chooses who will go on a date with that night. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the details of that. But before we continue, if you're not yet a subscriber, this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice centered around efficiency, effectiveness, and optimization. Please press the subscribe button below and press the notification bell to never miss a video. Videos are normally released every day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Also, if you'd like to get very, very, very good at the game, no matter what level you're at, I'm even training 300 lay count guys, there's still a whole bunch of holes and gaps I can fill in and things I can tweak to optimize your game. Okay, and, and, the, and the optimizations come very fast. Whatever level you're at, you're gonna make a huge spike and go to optimal strategy within a couple weeks. Okay, so jump on a free 30 minute call if you'd like to learn more details of that and hear a customized game plan to take you from wherever you're at to a very advanced level very fast, okay? So the key to closing is to mass set dates. However, for a lot of you that work full time, you only have a couple slots at night. Okay, maybe you have a 7 p.m. slot and maybe a 9.30. I typically advocate setting uh, public dates two and a half hours apart because you're gonna have about an hour at the venue and then about an hour and a half back at your house. If the girl's coming straight to the house, you can cut out that hour at the venue. So I tell guys to stack dates to the house about an hour and a half apart. Those are the general guidelines. However, this video is about canceling on her. Okay, so let's say that you have a given night and let's say you have, let's say you schedule four girls, okay, for the sake of argument. So maybe you set two at seven o'clock, two at 9.30, right? Now, as it gets closer to the, to the, you know, down to the wire, as it's like a couple hours before, maybe one of the girls flaked, maybe two of the girls flaked, maybe some of them had to reschedule, okay? Maybe some of them are unresponsive. And whoever is left, as you get down to the wire, let's, let's say all four of them are scheduled for 7 p.m. actually. Hey, let's say you get down to the wire, now there's just two left. One stopped responding, one had to reschedule. Okay, now you're down to two. Your determining factors would be which girl wants to meet straight to the house. If they both want to come straight to the house, which one's hotter? Or which one does it seem more on with, okay? If they both want to go in public, which one's hotter? Which one does it seem more on with, okay? Or maybe you have one that's like on the borderline of the quality for you that wants to come straight to the house in a pretty hot one that wants to be in public and then you can make the judgment call to go with the pretty hot one. But the key thing here to introduce in this video is that you're gonna tell the one that you don't wanna meet based on those, you know, considering the weighing the pros and cons and prioritizations, you're gonna say, hey, you're gonna wanna give her a genuine apology. So I'll usually say, hey, something came up for work, I'm stuck on a meeting, um, I can let you know when I'm done, right? So you can push things back. I'm stuck with some work. I'll let you know I can meet later, assuming you have a free spot later. If you don't, something came up. I don't think I'm gonna be free tonight. I'm, I'm dealing with this problem for work. Can we, I hate to do this, but can we meet a different day? Okay, and they'll usually say, sure, no problem. Now, the cool thing is, is that once you have them like out of that, just texting back and forth, like imagine you're, you're here, right? That's the texting back and forth, texting back and forth. Now when you have plans set, you've been elevated to a different category, okay, that has more weight and more importance. And now she's thinking, okay, this isn't just some guy I'm texting with, this is some guy I'm planning to meet. Okay, so now, even if you have to cancel on her, as long as you do it with a genuine apology, it's not something like, hey, uh, I just don't feel like meeting you today, or hey, uh, blah, 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 anything that you do where, where you look responsible and you can be seen as like the asshole, then she's gonna get upset and pissed off. She still might get upset, but you can say, hey, listen, like I didn't really have any choice. This thing came up and, and blah, blah, blah. All right, now some of you might be morally opposed to this. I, I advocate this to clients as an option, 
And some guys say, oh, I don't want to like, you know, waste the girl's time. So that's up to your own moral decision. I usually cancel at least a couple hours before so she has time to replan something else. Okay, but um, that's how you would do that. All right, so every, on any given night, and you should be, as a side note, you should be setting your dates in a tight, like 48 hour pattern, preferably within 24 hours, but try to keep them in, in this two day out kind of pattern because the lead is going cold over time. You don't want to set a date for like a week out or, or set a bunch of dates for like a week or week and a half out because as this time elapses, she's going to forget about things and it's gonna, the odds of flaking are gonna go up significantly okay, as more time passes. Leads generally go cold in about a week and so you only want to set far out in the future if there's no other option. Okay, and then this video isn't about that. But the point is, is that you should be mass stacking for that same day, mass stacking for the next day out. And whenever I'm working lots of leads and going on lots of dates, you see my calendar like packed full for like that current day and like the next day. And then not many dates set after that. And then as the day advances, okay, now it's the next day. Now I'm, I'm like aggressively setting dates again for like that, that day based on whatever spots opened up and the next day now that I'm able to set for that day. So you wanna work them in this like tight kind of loop where you're just mass setting them all like that. And then, you know, based on how things shake out, the ones you have to cancel on, you move them to the next day or, or two days out or whenever they're free again, okay? And the reason for doing this is because let's say you just set a date for seven and 9.30, they both flake, now you have nothing, okay? Let's say you set a date for seven and, and for 9.30, and your seven flakes. Now you have nothing before the 9.30, okay? And you could have had some other girl there, right? So the point is, you should double and triple stack, and I don't even adhere to the time slots anymore. As I got further and further into the game, I just set them for whatever time, it doesn't even fucking matter if they're overlapping. So I'll set like two at seven, one at 7.30, one at eight. Whenever, whatever time is good for them, that's when I set it for. And as the day progresses, as it's getting closer to the, the time of the date, I see where I'm at with everything. Okay, this girl hasn't confirmed yet. This girl wants to push the date back to later in the night. This girl canceled. Uh, this girl told me she got back with her boyfriend. Whatever the different situations are, new information is coming in, and then I adjust the night accordingly. To the girl at nine, oh hey, um, I'm actually gonna be free a little bit sooner. Can we meet at seven? To the girl, and, and you're, you're even replanning while you're on dates. Let's say you're on your seven o'clock date, and things are going like not the best, and she's like, oh, I have someone to be right after this. Okay, boom, now I hit up the next one. Hey, I'm gonna be free a little bit sooner. Can you meet sooner? I'll text her right on, while I'm on the date with the other one. Or say I get on and there's like not much chemistry, and I'm not even really that interested, I'll hit up the next one, and vice versa. Let's say there's tons of chemistry and the girl's really hot, and, and we bang all the shit, and then I have another girl right after, I'll tell the girl right after, hey, uh, I'm stuck on a meeting, and I'll try to build more connection with the current one. A lot of guys think that I'm just trying to max lay count, just because my lay count's high. That's definitely not the case. I'll clear the whole rest of the night of the schedule if it's going really well with a hot one, okay, with a really hot one. And I'll also pri prioritize rotation girls a lot, okay, when I'm hanging out with 15 girls in rotation, that, that's directly at odds with, with getting new closes because all those times with rotation, I could be going on new dates and getting new closes. And I've always ran big rotations, which almost no coach does. I don't know anyone running big rotations. Most guys say, oh yeah, two or three. Yeah, nice work. It's fucking stupid. Okay, so, you know, whatever. Unless you're, unless you're like ultra, ultra busy, you only need to see them once a week anyways. But if, if the chick was, was hot and good enough to bang once, of course she should be good enough to bang a bunch of times. That's why I don't, I don't see why people aren't running big rotation. I've, I used to run six to 12 on average, and in the past few years, it's been more on the 10 to 15 range. In Poland, I had up to 17 girls at once, which, which started to be diminishing returns because they're all demanding more time and attention, and there's extra drama overall and this and that. So I want you guys to start looking at your, your days that you have, okay, whatever time you have to devote towards dating. It doesn't mean you need to devote all your free time to it, but whatever time you do allocate towards dating, you should be double and triple stacking those time slots. And as it gets closer, because girls are gonna naturally have stuff come up where they're gonna have to reschedule either, either for a different time that day, move things up, move things back, or for a different day. Some girls are not gonna respond, some girls are gonna flake with a, a real excuse, okay? And based on all that shit, you're gonna have to rearrange everyone, and that's the whole purpose. And I'll link a video at the end about how to schedule everyone and make the excuses. Basically, I use work as the excuse to move time slots back and forward and cancel completely. And so I'll link to that video at the end about scheduling. But I hope that helps you see things from a new perspective so that you can properly manage your nights. Okay, so every day we'll just be shuffling different girls around. And you also have to fit the rotation girls in too. So, you know, you should be planning time slots for rotation girls, but there should be a bunch of girls, multiple girls preferably, that are on call, so to speak. Where, okay, I had three slots for seven, two flaked, 
Uh, one need to be pushed back in time. Now I have that open. Boom, I can hit up new leads to put in that spot or I can just hit up rotation girls on call. Hey, I'm gonna be free at this time. Let's meet, boom, done. Okay, so it's, it's like layers of fallback. Okay, if this day doesn't work out, then this one will. If this day doesn't work out, then this one will. If this day doesn't work out, then I'll head up these new leads and try to set that spot. If I can't set that spot, I'll put a rotation girl in there and vice versa. And some of you might be thinking, oh, why do I want to fill all these spots with girls? Again, whatever time you do want to devote towards dating girls, this is how you maximally utilize that time and make it the most effective and efficient, okay? Please like, comment, and share. Uh, helps the algorithm a lot. Please subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new video alerts every day around 2 p.m. Eastern is the normal release time. And if you would like to learn all the ins and outs of the entire strategy in this game, okay, I am your man to get you extremely, extremely good at this. Do not hesitate, jump on a free 30 minute call and I'll show you how you can get you to a very advanced level very fast. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm John Anthony and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum